Something about you that made me laugh, or that was not made me laugh, but you know, was mildly upsetting. Remember the other day I mentioned um, whether or not you know Kylie Jenner was an idiot or a genius, right? Um, and this is off the back of uh, the kind of outrage online because she decided to have a Hands May Tell theme party with her friends to celebrate the beginning of the new season of Hands May Tell season two, which I recommend you check out. It's amazing. It's on Hulu. You can probably find it on all your other, you know, streaming sites you watch stuff on. But it's a great series. One of one of my favorites at the moment, of course, because there's nothing else out at the moment. But again, really compelling story. Really bleak. It's sort of the kind of thing you don't really want to watch before bed. Anyway, um, I was saying, you know, I wonder if Kylie Jenner is an idiot or a genius because, and then it kind of got me thinking. I was read, I listened to a podcast. I think it might have been with Sam Harris or somebody, um, and he mentioned this book by this dude. Um, it was called. Let me see if I can find it on my Amazon. I should have a list of all the books I added on there. But this guy mentioned this in really interesting book about intelligence that got me thinking about Kendall Jenner, which is you know really strange thing to say, but um, hopefully it will make some sense in a minute once I get this book up. It was written by someone called where was his name? Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba, not that, not Snake, not the Fool. What was it? A book on intelligence. That's it. Howard Gardner, right? A guy called Howard Gardner. He's got a book called ba, 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 ba. Multiple Intelligences, New Horizons in Theory and Practice. I need to get it. I haven't got it just yet because I bought all these other books here um, that I'm aiming to get through in the next couple of days. These books there, which I posted on my little Instagram. Oh, I'm back on Instagram too, by the way. So if in case you were wondering where I went, my account got deleted by itself. I don't know why someone deleted my account. I don't know if they reported my account, so I'm not too sure. But I finally be able to get it back, which is quite a long winded process, but it works. You have to email this. You have to email them, and then you have to no. You have to try and log in through your phone. Then when you can't get through, you get you got you, got, you go through this other site. You email them, and then you have to take a picture with this code that they send you to the email just registered to your account. Loads of loads of bullshit anyway, basically, to get it back. But it's essentially, it worked, and I'm back in my account now. So check me out, Axel Zinger, all one word on Instagram. Link in the show notes for you guys that are checking. But I've got some books I bought. I post them up on my IG, books that I'm going to read for the entire month. So I don't really have any other room. But I, mem- I remember somebody mentioning on the Sam Harris podcast, uh, the book called Multiple Intelligences by Howard Gardner. And I think the basic premise of it is, you know, there's different kinds of intelligence, right? It's the same kind of thing where, you know, you see somebody on the, on the field, um, on the sports field or playing football, tennis, whatever it may be. And, you know, they, they're a genius on that on that playground, right? They they have a genius way to approach things, to solve problems, to win, whatever it may be. Then you take them outside of that environment and, you know, apply that genius in other areas. It doesn't necessarily chalk up the same way, right? They might not be, you know, they might not be that um, intelligent outside of their sports specific um, skill set, whatever it may be, right? You, you hear all the time, footballers, you know, they have, they give interviews and they're not the most articulate people in the world because they don't really need to, right? Their, their talent, their skill is in kicking that ball um, around the field. So I've got thinking about Kylie Jenner the same way. I keep saying Kylie like that because I keep mixing Kendall and Kylie. Um, but um, I was thinking about Kylie Jenner the same way because that whole hands may tell theme party was a bizarre thing to do. Not because it was, you know, socially unacceptable, not because, you know, whatever it may be, but it's just because when you watch the hands may tell, the last thing you think about is celebrating anything to do with the suffering that you're seeing on TV. You don't really associate good times with the hands may tell. You don't associate anything with it, especially after season one, right? Um, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! You know she runs away. The lead, the lead actress, she's able to escape um, with the baby that she's had um, at Gilead, and then you know during the escape realizes that you know what she's got another daughter who's also taken from her. They'll split, and who's also still in Gilead. And for the safety of her, she would rather stay in Gilead, knowing that her daughter's safe, and send the other kid or the other daughter that she has back to her strange husband who's now living in canada in refuge so she goes back again right so it's this in turn it's a it's a constant show and you're like oh shit i'm gonna go for another emotional roller coaster because season one was brutal to watch right it kept going from like you know just as you thought she was just about to kind of get her things in order and she's gonna you know lead a revolution and make sure everyone leaves it kind of got went crashing back down again just when somebody you just when you thought she found an ally someone's gonna help her out and you know be um um another kind of tour in the resistance crashing back and they get betrayed just constant toing and throwing brilliant writing from the act from the writers um great directing and the, you know actresses and the actors playing in that show are amazing too really really bleak and cinematography just superb but the last thing you think about when you watch that show is like you know 
is oh yeah, I'm gonna celebrate, especially last episode, right? I'm I'm on season two, episode five. If you guys are watching that, you know what I mean. After watching season two, episode five, and the end sequence, and seeing her face, and seeing how angry she is, the last thing I just immediately thought about Kendall Jenner. I mean Kylie Jenner, like what the fuck was she thinking? That party was insane. Imagine thinking, right, that you want to have a party. It's like it's maybe not on the same level as the Chernobyl tourists, right? Because the Chernobyl tourist. I think there's something quite fun about it, you know, and if you're a kid or a young person, especially on social media, social media is essentially a clout chasing platform, right? Everyone wants to go viral. Everyone wants to have that um, thing where they wake up in the morning and they just, you know, their, their, their notifications are like on 99 plus, right? It's just like ringing off. People are following them. Everyone wants that moment where they suddenly blow up. That's what everyone's sort of waiting for on social media. In the same way, people are waiting to win the lottery and become millionaires. And, you know, somehow someone's going to stumble upon their talent. People just want to get you know, to blow up, to become viral on social. So you can get the Chernobyl thing in some respects because, you know, it's a real, it's a big hit TV show, highest rated um, HP show on IMDb. It's got all these ratings. It's, it's gone, you know, it's, it started a conversation um, in, in society in general about how we treat these atrocities. It's got Russia to respond and they want to produce their own show. It's an amazing program, right? I get it. I get it. You want to attach yourself to it, get some clout, get some new followers, no problem. But hands may tail. The hands may tail. Imagine having a party themed. I get going on to Halloween, right? Dressed up as someone from Hands May Tail. Get d- d- dressing up as you know the, the people from Gilead. Cool. There's something quite sinister and ironic about that. But celebrating it like a Hands May Tail themed party, like wow, that's some that's some like that's some like brick level level. That's some like I don't know. That's some stupid. That's a stupidity level that really knows no bounds. But again, it's amazing to see that she is so dumb in one as- aspect of the word, right? In you no, know, oh my God, imagine watching Handmaid's Tale and forget, oh my God, the outfits are so hot, right? That's the first thing that comes into your head. Not, oh my God, this is crazy. I wish something that this happens to us in society nowadays. I'm gonna, I don't know. You take a message from it. You get like an activism bump from it. I don't know. There's something, some other reaction apart from, wow, they've got great outfits. That's the first thing you think about. Like, how empty must your head be? As soon as I think to myself, like, as much as it must be amazing to be, you know, around that kind of environment, you know, it's always changing. You're meeting so interesting celebrities, all this sort of stuff, especially if you're that kind of way inclined. It must get really, really boring after a while, right? Speaking to people who are just dimmer than dim. It's just like, wow. But again, it's just, just amazing. You're a billionaire in one set asset, right? You're a 20, what is she, under 25, right? She's billionaire two times over. She's got enough money, you know. She's got more money than God. Her family is looked after for generations and generations to come. All throughout, all through, all because of her hard work and her ability to somehow garner attention on social and then monetize that. Built an empire, you know, within less than what, less than five years of her cosmetic line. Um, just amazing person all around, right? In that respect. But then in one avenue, just dumb as bricks. It's like wow. And I just got thinking, honestly, if you watch, if you've watched Hands May Tell season two, episode five, you know what I mean. Like after watching that episode, I was like, how could you actually think a Hands May Tell party would make sense? Like, huh? What? It's like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. Bless her, though, isn't it? Bless her. Who cares, isn't it? If you, if you're that, sometimes, sometimes, you know, like when you have people say, oh, I want fuck you money so I can just, you know, say fuck you to all the people that kind of, you know, done me wrong over the years and I'd have to listen to nobody. There is a, there is also a level of money where you just don't need to be smart, right? There's like, fuck intelligence, fuck reading money. There has to be that kind of level, right? That's where the whole Kanye thing comes in, right? I don't read, taking part. I don't read, I don't read, I just feel. It's like, mm, feeling's a bit dumb, isn't it? Though? If you're, if you're in, led by emotions, you're not going to be the most rational person in the world. And rash, less rational people don't make good decisions, right? As we've seen. But um, I wonder if there's a level of financial independence where you just don't, you just don't give a shit about being smart. You just live entirely for yourself. You're incredibly self-absorbed. Quote to my guy, Will Starr, in a book called Selfie. You're super self-absorbed. You don't care about anyone else apart from your immediate family and your friends. Everything revolves around that little circle, and that's it. Um, why? Why should I be aware of things going outside of my circle? Why should? That's where maybe that's where nationalism comes from and populism, right? That kind of idea. The idea that these intellectuals have somehow led us astray all these years. So now I'm going to take back what's mine, and I'm going to shun. Um, anything informed, anything intelligent, anything well thought out, and go with my gut because my gut doesn't never do me wrong, right? Because people think that, innit? When they're hungry, they go and eat because their gut tells them, I'm hungry. So when they have a bad feeling about something or a job or a partner, 
they date them anyway because why not right life's too short why not get into a fucked up abusive relationship <laughs> i don't know i don't know man i'm just trying to think things through i'm confused oh i guess maybe the the answer or the quote the answer to all this suggestion the, the answer to everything i'm kind of throwing out is you know life's too short you can't be worrying about how smart or dumb kylie jenner is I why do i keep saying kylie how smart or dumb kylie or kendra are you just gotta keep concentrating on what you're doing and hope you you know through the you know the sweat of your brow and the rolling up of your sleeves you get what you need to get to because you just can't understand people people can you just about understand yourself right i'm flawed as they come in it i've got many many errors i need to correct so trying to understand or trying to psychoanalyze someone that's a member of the kardashian family is probably not the best thing to do and not the best use of my time <laughs>